the applicable cells to dollar amounts because they are in fact dollar amounts. I will click the first cell, click and hold, drag an area, and then I will press Control and 1 at the same time. Next, I will choose the currency option under the category. It's going to give me a preview over here. I would like two decimal points after the dollar for cents using the dollar symbol, and this can be changed, and the standard format of displaying the numbers. It now brings up all of my numbers as dollars. Next, let's look at the margin percentage. As you can tell, there are many decimal points over here, and if I stretch the cell, it'll actually come out with more. These aren't helpful to me. I'm only looking for two places. Let's fix that. First, I'll select the area, press Control and 1 once again, hit the Number tab. This time, I'm going to click Number, and right over here, two decimal points. Okay, let's do some styling. As you can tell in the title bar over here, we have a blue background and a border. This is very easy to do. Once again, I'll select the cells I want, press Control and 1, and then hit over to Fill. Fill is essentially the background. Let's choose a simple light blue for the background, and then if I head over to Border, I'll choose a dark black line and click the bottom area. That means anything beneath the text on the border of the cell will have a dark black line. There we go. We can do some more formatting over here. I have a little dotted line around it. Okay, let's move on. As you can tell in the final version on the left side, I have a graph. This is a nice chart that displays all the data in a visual fashion. Surprisingly, this is very easy to do. Simply click the Insert tab and choose Bar. This is under the chart area. This is a bar graph. I'm going to go with the default 2D bar. Notice this is a blank chart because I haven't told it what data I want. I'm going to click delete and this time I will tell it what data I want. I will click the A, hold control and click E and repeat the steps. It now generates a bar graph based on what I've selected. It also titles it and creates lines to exemplify which one of my products has the best profit margin. I should sell the most mice because that will make me the most money. I can resize by dragging the bottom right corner and move it by moving to the top area. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to visit us at www.fixnow.us.